Nilay Nilaj Nilay. Nilay, it would be great if you could introduce yourself, tell us who you are, okay. what you're doing, where you live. Uh, I'm Nilay Kulkarni, uh, I'm an Android developer, I'm in the ninth grade and I live in Nashik. How come you are at the ninth grade an Android developer? I like coding and uh, I have this fascination with computers, so I uh, keep learning new things in this field. So. When did you start? Uh, Android or uh, overall computers? Overall. Overall I started when I was three years old. <laughs> what did you do? My father let me play, it's your sandbox, do whatever you want to do with it. So I, at first I started playing games and didn't know how to even shut off the computer. I just uh, turned off the button but then I started learning gradually and uh, then afterwards uh, when I was 12 or 13 I actually uh, had uh, I create uh, interest was created in me for coding so I started C coding and now uh, there is an array of programming languages I can code in which languages are you coding in it's, it's a long list like C C++ C sharp Java JavaScript uh, Ruby Python and uh, some Lua so what what are you coding? So uh, I code Android apps. I For example, just give us an example. example what kind of app content. Okay, like, like a, 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 an app which gives system info of the device. It backs up, uh, backs up the IMEI, that's the identifier for the uh, device and sends it as a mail to the user so that if his device gets stolen, he can tell the police that that's the IMEI so that they can track. And uh, also another app is I create games for kids too. Uh, what kind of games? Uh, they are like DX Ball 2, have you played that the brick, a ball is there and you have to uh, crash the bricks. No, I don't. Okay. At least Flappy Bird. So yes, uh, I have a, I have developed a Flappy Bird uh, based game. So what what keeps you going on this? I mean, you are still at school. You do a lot of sports, as you said. How yes. do you manage all the schedule? I mean, uh, I, I I go to school by cycling, so that's a sports part. And uh, at school, after school, it's seven to twelve. Uh, when I return home, I just keep uh, studying and studying, doing my homework, complete my assignments, do all the coirs that are required and after, uh, when it gets evening, I start coding till I sleep. So that pretty much balances it. So uh, you said you joined here this Kumbhathon about a year ago. Yes. How come did you hear? heard about this and why did you join? Okay, actually I didn't hear about it until I was here. So, uh, so the one of the mentors, uh, Sunil Khanwale sir, uh, just picked me up uh, through a computer contest. Uh, I was the, I stood third in it and he's, uh, he was the chief guest at the prize distribution. So he said that uh, these 15, top 15 students get to present uh, a PPT presentation on Kumbh Mela and uh, what, uh, what, the pri what are the problems that will arise and what are the solutions you will provide without any government uh, involvement. So in that presentation I got selected. I, I didn't know what will happen next, what's the prize, but I just gave it that these are problems, this is our city, we need to do something for it before the Kumbh arrives. Uh, so, uh, after five, four to five days, I got a call that uh, uh, this is a call for uh, confirming you, uh, uh, your participation in Kumbhathon. So, uh, what is Kumbhathon? I have heard, heard about Kumbh Mela. What is Kumbhathon? So, he said that this is a website. Uh, he gave me a URL and uh, so visit this and I will call after some time. So, I visited the website, read about it and then I said yes, I want to come here. So, what happened in the last year then? Uh, from past year, I got to meet new people, explore new technologies, uh, prepare the mindset for innovation under different uh, conditions. Uh, because of this hackathon, I have been to others, uh, other hackathons by this reference too. So it kind of goes on and on, even if this is the last Kumbhathon, the chain continues. So. What does innovation mean for you? I mean, you're a 14-year-old guy. 
innovation to me is creating something new but that should be uh, useful to the uh, environment useful to society not just creating angry birds wasn't actually useful but uh, creating lego blocks by the creator was more useful to society he is giving back uh, to society his contribution so what are your teachers saying i i assume you must be pretty bored at school huh uh, no i am not bored because i need the, it's the basic of my further education so i need that uh, knowledge so my teachers are uh, like whenever there device even any sort of uh, computer gadget anything gets uh, broken they come to me that nila is i said so i fix them up uh, uh, the devices and in studies uh, yeah i am pretty average in uh, history geography or that kind of but in math science and ict uh, computers there I am the topper there, so uh, everyone in the my, even my classmates are like before the paper. I want the definition for that uh, format, so that's the environment. In What school. makes you interested in this? Uh, the uh, like uh, coders are the ones act, uh, who are actually powering the world right now. Like uh, from your uh, MacBook to your uh, phone uh, and. after some days i think even in your glasses there will be piece of code so uh, that's what attracts me to coding they uh, empower people uh, they have global reach so anyone writing a blog or uh, coding stuff can reach out to global audience how how important is for you i mean coding is one thing Very often, this, this, these coders they sit back home in the dark room. They don't go out to the world, and sometimes they code stuff which actually not highly sophisticated users like me cannot use, or which doesn't have any real implementation. Yeah. So, how do you think about this? What is, What is your goal? You say you you want to give something for society. You, to create already uh, games for kids so how do you think about this like how important is this when you code do you see a user at the other end so i when i create apps i see them as myself as my mother their point of view that if i uh, i was not the coder of this app and someone gave it to me would i actually use it is it actually useful so uh, that's it uh, that's uh, the the part and uh, about the uh, giving back to society kind of thing uh, i think uh, when i see these uh, stats and that many of the uh, population is computer illiterate so uh, i feel that i have this powerful tool i can reach out to people i can code stuff which is useful to them but what about them why not empower them with the uh, knowledge i have so if i empower them with the knowledge they will be like me i'll create more of uh, the coders or more of, more of the makers which uh, who make things so if i empower them they will create more of them and it will uh, be a chain uh, so uh, it will be a better society better uh, environment for all of us so i really hope you're coming close to panna and yes. explore what we are doing huh? and explore what we are doing yes there yes the kids i definitely love to come there i want to come there and uh, build stuff with the kids these skateboard them. yes skate skateboard even if i fall uh, we have the pass yes <laughs> thanks a lot yeah. Thank you.